I, I think it's pretty rewarding when you have uh, the opportunity uh, to to interact with a with a young person, particularly when you look at what's going on in our country with uh, young African American males. Uh, to so so to say that you're actively doing something um, to be a part of the solution for something like that, I think is pretty empowering and also uh, it's it's a good feeling. With my job comes a lot of experience in dealing with, um, you know, very good matches, uh, matches that go on to last even beyond the extent of the program. Um, some matches, you know, even now that so many children have graduated high school, the bigs and little sums, they still keep in touch, and that is the reward of working uh, for a program such as Big Brothers Big Sisters. Four or five years. Uh, Fred was basically that father that I never had. Uh, he was like a male role model for me. I never had that. I was just always with my mom. And uh, he was really just a man that was around me all the time. Fred really taught me how to, you know, just work hard and go out and get what I want to do. Um, he never really gave me anything. So if it was something that I needed or something I wanted, he made me work for it. He was just always telling me to go work and get what I wanted to get. I'm pretty sure I'd do the same thing that Fred did for me and I'd just be that, that father figure or closer to their age. It is the mission of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arkansas that no child, no volunteer, and no parent is financially burdened by their match. We just had a little time to give to a kid, and so we found the best one in the whole wide world right here. <laughs> so, um, We've got a, a bunch of grandkids, but they all live in Minnesota, so we don't see them as often as we would like, and we really, I really like being around kids, and so it's been a lot of fun to get to know Isaac. Yeah, he's curious and just real and funny, and uh, he keeps us laughing, so <laughs> this is good. Well, he's always been real friendly. You know, we just yeah. headed off, I think, right away. Yeah. He was excited to meet us, and we were excited to meet him. Yeah. It seemed to go real well from the beginning. Mm-hmm. I think so. He was, he, he had waited a long time, yeah. right, to get mm -hmm. a big brother or sister, and so he was ready. He was ready to go out the door, and he filled out everything <laughs> on his form that yeah. he could possibly yeah. want to do. So we're trying to get through the list. <laughs> it's going to take us a while to get and, through all of them. I mean, yeah. he's always just been ready to go do something fun and so I can't really say that that's changed any but he uh, now he knows us better and we know him better so we know how to speak the same language more than we did. Yeah, yeah I think that's a big thing. Yeah. Except for the haircut. Get a haircut. <laughs> he didn't get a haircut, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. We're anxiously waiting for the three months to be up so we oh, can yeah. bring him over to our house. He had a big time. Yeah playing with the rhythm instruments and drums and other oh, right. things we have around oh, the house. So musical. He is musical and we're looking forward to, to and we're musical, so we're looking uh, forward to maybe singing, singing with him uh, or playing learning, drums learning or learning some of his tunes. He likes to make up tunes. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. We think about him a lot and, and you know, I'll just say, you'll be glad you did. You know, you'll be glad you did. Yeah, it's, it's really a lot of fun. Recommend it to anybody. It doesn't really take a lot of time, you know, and uh, it's very rewarding. Since the year 2000, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arkansas has created 2,474 matches. Most times, I don't even think volunteers know um, the impact they have on a child. The impact can be very great. Um, you have children who have been through such extreme life circumstances where, um, for instance, if a little has had issues where people are always leaving them, like, you know, they have abandonment issues. Just having that volunteer there that's, you know, showing consistency, letting them know that everybody is not going to abandon you. It has been proven that for every one dollar invested in mentoring, there is a three dollar return to society. It costs approximately one thousand dollars a year to support a match.